Hey, brother. You know, this being the holiday season, I wanted to take a minute to talk about the notion of hope. And what role does hope play in a man who is experiencing an estranged relationship with his wife or significant other? You know, I talk to a lot of men, and something I routinely encounter among men who have done men's work is that they they avoid hope. And um, I find this really kind of curious and a bit crazy. So one reason men avoid hope um, is because of generally a, a cynicism. They're afraid to hope because they're afraid to be disappointed. We'll talk about that in a moment. And the second one is that men tend to confuse hope with an attachment to the outcome. And they're really not the same thing. When we hope, what we're basically doing is allowing our mind to envision an outcome in the future that is aligned with what we desire. And that's actually a really good thing. In fact, I'm going to suggest as a man, if you want to repair a relationship with an estranged spouse, you first have to. You have to encounter uh, a hope that that's possible. If you don't, you're really not creating the right cognitive experience, the right mental and psychological experience in yourself to even allow for the possibility. So hope is an essential thing. And I know that's not... Uh, widely discussed, and I know some people are even against the idea. I think um, I, I think I've read some Mark Manson stuff, for example, that critiques hope, and I think that's kind of an unfortunate artifact about using an English word that we use poorly to actually mean too many things. But hope, from the Cambridge Dictionary perspective, is really seeing something as possible in the future and positive. And so if you can't see a, a repaired relationship, you certainly can't build one. So not just because of the holidays, but I want to encourage you, do not be afraid to hope. Being a hopeful person is not the same thing as being a person who is desperately and needily attached to the outcome, right? So, you know, if you were to put an X and Y grid together, you have, you have two axes there that hope falls on. And one is the likelihood that something is going to come to pass and the other axes is how much control we believe we have over it. And hope is one of those things that it's premature in both of those axes, meaning we're not necessarily sure that we have a lot of control over it, and we're not necessarily sure that it's very likely. But nevertheless, we still have to start somewhere, right? We don't want to start with pessimism and doubt and fear and anxiety, or what we'll end up getting is exactly what we look for. And so hope begins to put us on this kind of grid, on the chart. It, it gives us a place to start to believe that something is possible. And that is absolutely essential if you want to build or rebuild a relationship that's estranged. Now, where do you go from hope? Well, I would suggest optimism. What happens on that X and Y axis is as our, our ability to see it as possible increases and the ability we see of ourselves to control that meaning like we have some hand in bringing it to pass, then our optimism starts to grow. So hope grows from hope to optimism. And that actually is a really positive experience for human beings. Again, if they don't get attached to an outcome, but keep an open hand about outcomes, but also taking personal responsibility, taking a personal effort and investment, follow through things like this that are essential qualities to bring anything to pass then hope grows into optimism and men that start with hope and become optimistic generally have a better outcome anyway because in the long run you know anybody can experience any outcome and so what does a man really prosper for holding back enjoying uh not hope but doubt and then marrying that doubt with pessimism when you get to the outcome you're no better for having been you know, doubtful and pessimistic than the man who has been hopeful and optimistic. In fact, I would suggest, let's just say it took you 60 days to get to a conclusion of whether you knew something was going to happen or not. The man who has lived those 60 days from a place of hope and optimism has had a better 60 day journey to that conclusion than the man who is already living in the defeated outcome for the next 60 days. So this holiday season, beyond the holiday season, I wanna encourage you, if you're struggling in an estranged relationship, do not let go of hope. Hope is an essential partner for where you want to go. Just be mindful not to become attached to the outcome. Now, if you're struggling with hope 
and optimism, I want to invite you to reach out and get in touch with me. I'm not going to try to sell you anything. I'm going to spend 90 minutes on a Zoom call talking to you face-to-face, just like this, where I'm going to try to impart to you even more hope, to try to help you kind of plant the seed of hope that what you want is possible. I can't help you determine that it's probable, but I can help you believe and understand that it's possible. If that's you, I want you to click below in the link in the description for this video, fill out a form, and let's have a conversation. You're not going to hear, again, any sales pitch. I'm not going to invite you to join anything, to buy anything. I just want to help you get a little bit of hope planted for your future. If you like this video, I also invite you, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. All of that helps me to spread a message of hope on planet Earth to other men in other desperate situations. And I would really appreciate your feedback in this way. If I don't talk to you, have a great holiday and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Take care.